Today I'm going to show you my attempt at painting the Super Mutants from Fallout Wasteland Warfare's core set right after this. Hey everyone, Sam here from the Tabletop Hub, your one-stop shop for all things tabletop, and today we are back for another Fallout Wasteland Warfare painting guide. Now if you're new to the channel, the My Attempt at Painting series is really for the amateur and beginner painter out there. I'm still learning how to paint miniatures well myself, and my hope is that as you watch these videos it will inspire you to pick up a brush and get painting, and hopefully we'll both learn from each other along the way. Today we're painting these Super Mutants that you'll find in the core set for Fallout Wasteland Warfare, and while I am not totally pleased with how the armour came out on these miniatures, I am much happier with the skin tones, as I feel they're much closer to what we'd see in Fallout 4. So first of all, I took some Army Painter's Ash Grey and painted some of the shoulder pieces of armour. I equally wanted to mix things up a little bit. Uh, the Super Mutants tend to scavenge their armour from whatever they can find, and so there can be a bit of a mix and match look to it. So next I took some Army Painter's Electric Blue and Army Green and applied that to some of the other random pieces of armour also. Next I took some Army Painter's Leather Brown and applied that to the wooden stock of the Super Mutants Pipe Rifle and then took some Army Painter's Dry Rust Effect paint and gave the armour a dry brush. Now at this point I feel I applied way too much of the effect paint though, because once we get to the finished look, the different paints that were used on the armour are almost indistinguishable, so if you're going to do this, consider applying sparsely. Next I took Army Painter's Army Green and began painting the skin of the Super Mutant. I then took Army Painter's Leather Brown and applied this to the clothing of the Super Mutants and applied some Army Painter's Skeleton Bone to these skulls that you'll see adorning some of the models. Once this was all done, I took Citadel's Agrax Earthshade and gave the entire model a coating, and this will equally kind of muddy the armour as well if you have applied too much of that rust effect uh, and kind of do away with any of the underlying colour that you did put on there. Once this was dried, I took Army Painter's Gunmetal and dry brushed the armour and the weapons to give them a, a brushed metal look. As for the base, it was very, very simple. I applied Necromancer's Cloak from Army Painter to the road surfaces, Army Painter's Monster Brown to the dirt, Army Painter's Oak Brown to the wooden planks, and finally Dungeon Grey from Army Painter to any bricks or curbs that were on the bases. I then applied Citadel's Nuln Oil to the base to bring out some of the cracks and definition on the base itself. And folks, that was it. I think out of all three of the mutants, though, the least armoured mutant is the one I'm most pleased with, mainly because we see more of his skin and less of the armour, which I feel I did a bad job on. I do feel the work I did on the armour of the other two really just adds too much rust and brown to the mini, and I think I'll be less generous with this in the future. But folks, I do hope you find this video helpful. If you are learning to paint miniatures and want to showcase your work or get some tips, do feel free to join my Discord in the link in the video description. There's a number of us in there painting a whole range of miniatures with a whole range of skill levels too, and I cannot tell you how helpful it can be to have someone to bounce ideas off or get advice from when you're learning how to paint. If you have enjoyed this video though, do feel free to subscribe to be kept up to date with when my new videos go live. But until next time folks, have a great week, and I will of course speak to you all soon.